What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with the next episode of Riverdale, Season 1, Episode 3. Let us get into it, shall we? Nom, 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 nom. All these guilt, pretty innocence, people. good, evil, life, death. As the shadows around Riverdale deepened, the lines that separated these blurred and distorted. I'm guilty, Cheryl said in biology class, but of what? To clarify, I didn't mean I was guilty of killing Jason. I loved him more than I do myself, but I am guilty of lying about what happened on July 4th. The autopsy puts his death about July 11th. When was the last time you saw your brother? It was July 4th. I don't know what happened the week after that. What happened at Sweetwater River? The plan was bananas, even for me. Jason wanted to leave Riverdale and never come back. He asked for my help to stage a tragic accident so that our mom and dad wouldn't come after him. Uh, we went for an early morning boat ride and the boat capsized, Jason drowned. We made it to the other side dry as bones. Said goodbye on the Greendale side of Sweetwater River. He promised he'd call me as soon as he was in a place where he couldn't be reached or pulled back by our parents. Every day I waited for him to call. You tell anyone about the plan? Any way that you can corroborate it? You have no idea why your brother wanted to run away, fake his own death. Doesn't that seem So cruel? the gunshot. No, that Jason Archie wasn't cruel. So maybe is... this is all just a web of lies. You're something else. I didn't kill else. Jason. There was a gunshot that morning. We heard a gunshot on July 4th. Maybe whoever killed Jason took a shot at him and missed that morning. And you're just telling us this now. I was upset. My brother was murdered. You sang and danced at a pep rally yesterday. What People the have hell different is going ways on of here? coping. Mommy. Why didn't you call us? She's a liar, Penelope. Weird. Hot off the presses. Mom. You leak Jason Blossom's autopsy report. You have to stop sensationalizing this horrible thing. We have a responsibility to keep the people informed. He's still a person. You read what you know. What happened to Jason? Who was holding him captive? And who shot that gun on July 4th? Why don't you come work with your father and me? The register could really use a Lois Lane type like you. But Cheryl is a minor. Can you write stories like that? Is that legal? I think I know something that can help with a Blossom investigation. People are saying Cheryl heard a gunshot. She's claiming, yes. I heard it too. I was there that morning. I didn't say anything because I thought Jason had drowned. But then when the autopsy came out and said he died later. What were you doing down at the river so early on July 4th? I was working on some songs. I uh, write songs. You see who fired the shot? No, sir. Were you alone? No, sir. Shit. Who were you with? Let's make it a 4th of July you'll never forget. My dog, Vegas. Are you a suspect now? My dad says we all are, including me. I don't know these people. Guys, should we maybe re-binge Making a Murderer on Netflix tonight? <laughs> Gotta stay late to work on the paper. I've got a date tonight. Which Riverdale hottie made the cut? I'll swing by the Pembroke to pick you up at eight. I'll be waiting. Okay. Chuck You're Clayton. You're going on a date with Chuck? He's kind of a player. He's the hottest of hot. He's the varsity football coach's son. In Riverdale, that's like dating a Kennedy. If print journalism is Get dead, it. what am I doing here? Isn't dead, Juggy. It's just dormant. Juggy. But waking up, you're writing a novel, right? About Jason Blossom's murder. I am. Which started out as a series of articles. I'm hoping you'll come right for the blue and gold. Just don't think the school paper's the right fit for my voice. Juggy, Jason's death changed Riverdale. Jug. People don't want to admit that, but we all feel it. Nothing this bad ever supposed to happen here, but it did. I want to know why. Would I get complete freedom? I'll help and edit and suggest, but it's your story. It's your voice. It doesn't sound like complete freedom. My man. Um, in that case, I have your first assignment. There's one person that no one's talking about. Dilton Doily and his scouts. Exactly. Hey. I texted. Where were you? Football practice, and I was writing. Songs, your music. I thought you and Jack had run a road trip on the 4th, and I talked with Sheriff Keller, so I guess that was a lie. We were gonna go, but... You I... should have come to me. I didn't want to drag you into it. That was an error in judgment. Sorry, I'm not perfect. Yeah, you're pretty far from perfect lately, Archie. That's why you're grounded. Are you serious? So in this house, every night, for two weeks, you want some alone time with your music, you got it. I'm not 10 years old. You want to go for three? Bro, you lied. Like, you lied. Okay, okay let, me, let me try <laughs> no, again. Let I... me... No, 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 fine, you can take. Let me see. What are purple? Multiple times. Fine. You are different than what I thought you'd be. A former it girl from New York. I assumed you'd be high maintenance. Well, tell me, what do you miss most about You got a nice face. Only everything. I forgot how exhausting it is to be the new kid. Try being the new kid whose dad is also the new teacher and the new coach. From an outsider's point of view, you've not only proven yourself, but you've raised the bar for everyone around you. Bronicolot is nothing if not an informed consumer. 
I'm gonna have my hands full with you, huh? I'm betting you can handle it. Oh. Why did you tell them about the gunshot? I had to help her. You were in the clear. We were in the clear. You are caught up in a murder investigation. What if Sheriff Keller decides to keep digging and it somehow leads to our relationship? Stick to my story. I'll protect you. I'm suspending our lessons. What? How'd it go with Chuck? Chuck has muscles for days, but his conversation is not the stuff of Oscar Wilde. Hey, Veronica. How was the sticky maple you had last night Chuck gave you? We had a brownie sundae, if that's what you hyenas mean. What? Oh, my God. What? What the hell is a sticky maple? Kind of what it sounds like. It's a Riverdale thing. It's a slut-shaming thing. And I'm, I'm neither a slut, nor am I going to be shamed by someone named Chuck Clayton. Does he really think he can get away with this? I will cut the brakes on his souped-up phallic symbol. What a follow rules. I make them. You want to help me get revenge on Chuck, buddy? But you better be willing to go full dark, no stars, in or out. What? A what is it called? No. A dirty maple? A maple? Veronica. Oh. Betty, what are you guys doing here? Don't worry about it. I mean it, Andrews. Hit the showers and stay out of my way. <clears throat> oh, B and V, menage right on, ladies. This is disgusting. Take it down. Whoa, why are you so wound up? It's a badge of honor and not exactly virgin territory after your closet date with Andrews. You're not allowed what to an around asshole. humiliating girls for any reason under any circumstances, jerk. Take this the hell down. Okay, that high tone, bitch attitude may have worked on the betas you dated in New York, but you're in bulldog territory. <laughs> Fight back. You only make it harder on yourself. Ew. And in that moment of hesitation, very you're good dead. looking. A All huge of you are dead. asshole. Aren't those How the do worst? You, Doily, I'm writing an article for the Blue and Gold, hoping you can help. Dismissed. But stay close. What? Cheryl and Archie both say they heard a gunshot the morning of July 4th. Sheriff Keller already asked me about this. My scouts and I, we didn't hear anything weird. Well, did you see anything weird? A white wing crossbill, a long-eared owl. Oh, and Cheryl, sitting by the river. Archie, thanks to you, Archie, I'm not the girl who cried gunshot. You believe me, but not even my parents did. I just told the truth. Which is why I want to repay your kindness. I'm granting you one wish, Archie. Nothing is off the table. Ah! Except for my body. Jason would want you to be rewarded. Actually, there is one thing. Hey, Josie. I love my girl Cheryl, so I am doing her this solid. She said that you needed help with your music. Miss Grundy bailed on you. The Pussycats are playing my mom's event, and we are rehearsing every night this week. Come, observe, learn. This week, I'm, uh, I'm grounded. Yeah, okay, not your problem. I'll make it work. Okay. Thank you. Your dad gonna be mad. You gonna sneak out? Hey, I've been meaning to ask. How was your date last night? I like the looks of that boy. More handsome on the outside, more rotten on the inside. What's that supposed to mean? He's a dirt. Nothing. He's not really my type. This is Betty. Can I take it? Hello? This story is bigger than we thought. I started asking around to see if what happened to you happened to anyone else. It's five guys on the football team. Chuck and his posse. Ethel was just about to tell us. One day last year, Chuck and I talked in the library. Ten minutes. I helped him with a pre-calc problem and nothing she happened. She looks familiar. What do I know her from? But the next day, he, he started telling people that I had let him do stuff to me, like sex stuff. And then he wrote sloppy seconds on my locker. We've all heard your tragic origin story. That's horrible. Not as horrible as being a suspect in your own brother's torture murder case. But River Vixen practice starts in five minutes, slut, so... They're ruining our lives. They keep score. What do you mean, keep score? They keep track in some secret playbook. You have to talk to Weatherby. Ew. Weatherby said that he didn't find anything. That boys will what? be boys. Go somewhere. And that playbook reeks of suburban legend. How would you know? Because Frida Shallow. Before he died, my brother was co-captain of the football team. With and Jason never mentioned it. And he never would have allowed it. I never met your brother. But I'm not lying about what happened to me. And Ethel's not lying. And proof or no proof, I am going scorched earth on these spickable miscreants. Call me or any of these beautiful, strong, intelligent women. Slut. One more time. Hey, I'm gonna take care of the check, all right? Save yourself. What the hell, man? I saw the way you looked at me. Ugh. You're in grizzly training? You're hiding something. You stole his ice cream. It's Scoutmaster Doily. He's lying. About what? The gunshot. It was him. He was teaching us how to shoot targets. Ah. Dilton Doily shot the gun on July 4th. He says if we don't protect ourselves, no one will. Melody's our technique queen. You're gonna get caught. And you're the songwriter? I would love to. 
love to what? What exactly you expect to get out of this experience? Short version, I just want to hear you guys playing my songs, <laughs> making them better, recording them. You feel qualified to write songs for the Pussycats? Yeah. For divas of color? No. Maybe, maybe. This isn't LA or New York, this is Riverdale. Do you have any idea how much hate mail my mom got when she was elected mayor? I campaign for your mom. I mean, do you know why we're called the Pussycats? Because we have to claw our way into the same rooms that you can just waltz into. You think that you can write my experience? It's okay, Valerie. She's right. Good. Ethel. Buddy, you know Trev Brown, right? Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> he used to be on the football team. But I quit. When I saw Chuck's playbook, may know where it is. Oh yeah, let's oh, fucking go. The coach's son being the ringleader. Color me impressed. <laughs> A B and D with B and V. What would your holy roller mother say about this, Betty? Trev told Valerie, who told Josie, who told Ginger, who told Tina, and I thought I would help out. Help or derail our investigation? Get in here. Trev was right. It didn't even bother to hide it. New girl? Is that what I'm reduced to? Nine points. Better than big girl. Seven point five. Ah. Uh... Holly's in this book, next to Jason's name. I'm so sorry, Betty. This isn't. Jason would it's never. It's right there, Cheryl. Your brother hurt my sister. Chuck Jason is the one Chuck that think about gives the women. point We're value. Objects. Not that it matters, I'm just curious. Shame us into silence. They have zero remorse for the lives they destroy. Yeah, y'all are fucking gross. Maybe I Not don't them, know, Jason. The guys. I'll take a picture, I'll show it to Weatherby. It'll be the perfect cover for your expose, buddy. That these girls deserve justice, don't you think, Cheryl? Take the whole damn book. You want vengeance? You wanna go full dark, no stars, Veronica? I'm with you, and I have a plan. Oh, shit. You are such a poet. These lyrics, they don't make sense. I, I mean, I need a line that catches. I hear that. Line. I've been struggling. What about paintings in the wind? How about uh, paintings on her skin? I kinda dig that. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, take it from the top. How? How? Paintings on her skin, colors in her hair. How? She don't pay no max, she don't really care. Oh, I don't care what you want me, me to be. be. Okay. It's all for me. That was so good. What else you got? I was thinking maybe we could invert the second and third verses. What's the plan? Seduce so Scarlet doesn't suit you, dear. It's Polly's. I'm borrowing it. Polly grew up too fast. I don't want you to make the same mistake. Well, I like it. it makes me feel powerful. Come on, advertisement. You coming with us to the mayor's shindig? No. I'm going over to Veronica's to study for a test. I don't want you associating with a girl like that. Bad girl, you mean? Get used to it, Mom. She's my friend. Here, pink perfection. It's more you. I don't, she's, she's fucking weird. Shut up, shut up, kiss me like you mean. Hey Chuck, can I sit? Not if you want to discuss Veronica. Only in so far as I've been thinking lately, how I, I want to be more like her. Hey, you want to be a bad girl? Maybe. <laughs> like your sister Polly was? Ah! Oh yeah, Jason told us all about Polly. And Prissy prude by day, freaking the sheets by night, and bad girls have more fun, right? Yeah. Maybe you can show me. Yes, I, I can do that. Um, when? Tomorrow night. Uh, you have a place in mine. Ethel's. She and her parents will be out. She'll leave us a key. But uh, we're friends. And she has a pool and a hot tub. I'll be there. Definitely. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. Can't wait. Gross. <laughs> Bro, about to be busted. Welcome home, Ferris. Sneaking out. Breaking curfew, getting into fights. Don't freak out, okay? I was with Josie helping the Pussycats with a song they're doing at that Taste of Riverdale thing. And I was hoping you would let me go. You don't get to go wherever you want, whenever you want, and damn what anyone else says. This is the first time a song I worked on is gonna be performed in front of people. Please let me go to this. And then ground me for the next six months. We're not haggling over your punishment. End of story. But you have to own it. Own what? Okay, if I had a football game tomorrow night, would you stop me from going? I... No, because football you understand. But my music, since I told you about it, you don't take it seriously. This is about your behavior. We're done here. Ah! You're not Betty. Betty and I talked it over. We decided it's time to stop fighting up Archie and start learning to share. Nice. Isn't it? There you go. Come on. Let's get wet. Should we wait for Betty to get here first? Betty couldn't make it. So she sent me instead. 
Whoa. Welcome all to the first Whoa. annual Taste of Riverdale. This event proves that when tragedy knocks us down, we get right back up. <laughs> well, 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 Hermione Lodge. Fred Andrews. You look like you could use this. The cheese slider, please. Of course. You're the music teacher at the high school, right? Yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm Fred Andrews, Archie's dad. Can we talk? Penelope? How are you holding up? How do you think? My son is dead, and neither of you have done anything to catch his killer. Penelope Blossom, would you like to give me a quote regarding you? Oh, how oh, dare oh, you, Cooper, burning my son's autopsy? He was tortured and shot and thrown in the river. Leave it, leave it. Leave it. Huh, we are Josie and the Pussycats. Are you ready to rock? Punch the shit out of her. She probably deserved that. Paintings on her skin, colors in her hair. Moving through the streets, she travels on her own. Are you sure it was worth sneaking out for some locally sourced monster? I helped write that song, man. Not bad. I'd love to stay, but I gotta shake down an evil adventure scout. See ya. You know, I've heard a lot about you. Archie says you're great. That's very sweet of him. I need you to tell me the truth about something. I know my son has passion. Does he have any talent? See, I, I want to be supportive. Mr. Andrews, Archie, he has talent, unquestionably. I'm not gonna lie to you, he is coming to it late. He's got a lot of catching up to do, and there's an entire world of competition out there. Will he be able to make a living at it? It'd be a shame if he didn't at least try. You know, I gotta ask you, what made you take such an interest in my son? His abs. Archie's a special kid. Okay, we're gonna do something a little different. Hermione Lodge, Park Avenue Princess Decatur waiter. Alice Cooper, no longer lactose intolerant, I see. How's Veronica? So is that her thing? Oh, she no just walks up and says the person, the Hermione things that you're Lodge. about your daughter at school. Penelope Blossom. What things? Shut up. That's what they call it when sluts get shamed. You know, you really have to keep an eye on girls like Veronica. They so easily can get out of control. Do you know where your daughter is right now? What is that? Muscle relaxer. Hello, truth serum. Maybe we should slow it down a little. You don't want to slow down, do you? Oh, I'm too fast, too furious, baby. Uh-uh. Good. Good boy, Chuck. Hello, Dilton. I talked to one of your scouts. I know you fired the gun, which makes you both a liar and a public menace. Juggy. So what if I did? I was doing the Adventure Scouts a favor. Somebody has to teach them how to stay in their ground the way this town is going. Save it for your statement, which you can make to Sheriff Keller or to me. I suggest the latter. Blue and gold offices, tomorrow. What the hell? Start recording. It's really hot in here. I'm getting hotter by the minute. Tell the truth about what happened between you and oh. Veronica. We had a good time. The truth, Chuck. So help me, I will boil you alive. What? Uh, we made out. And then? And then I took her home, and I didn't give her a sticky maple. And now everyone will know. You like shaming people, Chuck? You like dehumanizing them? Apologize. Uh, Say you're sorry. OK, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all of you. Good job, Pig. Now time for your reward. Sticky maple of your own. Apologize for ruining Polly. What the Do hell? Do it, Jason. Oh my god. Apologize for what you did to me. I'm not Jason. Betty, it's over. We did it. You did it. You are crazy. Oh my god, you're crazy as hell. Betty, I'm fine. We're done here. That was weird. Dad! I mean, that's kind of like a saltish, right? Dad, what's going on? I am soundproofing the garage. While you're grounded, you should at least be productive, practicing your music. Dad, this is awesome. Thank you. Well, that's adorable. I met your music teacher last night. Did not look like that in my day, son. Uh, what, what were you guys talking about? You? you? She believes in you, Archie. So do I. Wait, the expose. Whenever did you find the time to write it? I stayed up all night. Couldn't sleep after. Me neither. Betty, Gee. you came through for me in a way that no one else ever has before. Can we talk about what happened? What do you mean? The wig, everything. How far were you gonna take it? Chuck deserved it. You called him Jason. I didn't do that. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. You called yourself Polly. You became another person. Okay, I mean, I remember saying Chuck should apologize for Polly, but not because I thought it was Jason. I'm sick of guys like Chuck and Jason doing horrible things to girls like me, you, and Polly. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, but that was good and evil. That was light and dark. There was Betty and Veronica. That was, that was Two weird. sides of the same Janus coin. Given Betty's article, Weatherby needed a sacrificial lamb. 
needed to make an example of someone. After Hermione Lodge negotiated a lesser sentence for our two avenging angels. Next time, Mia, you don't take matters into your own hands. Coach Clayton was forced to cut his own beloved son, Goon Squad, from the team. So an action that no, would have terrible consequences in the weeks to come. Oh. Thanks, Betty. Thanks, Veronica. Thank you, Ethel, for going on the record. It made all of the difference with Weatherby. Hashtag justice for Ethel. But one thing was certain. Betty and Veronica, now B and V, and maybe forever. Oh. Had been forged. Now I get it, B and V. They walked through the fire <coughs> and survived. Whoever killed Jason hurt him. Maybe Jason hurt people too. If he hurt Polly, I'm sorry. Did Polly kill him? Who did it? Archie. I, uh, I wanted to thank you for talking to my dad. Maybe she has a thing for redheads and she- I think it could really happen She was you. boinking Jason too and then killed him. So- Later. Does this mean we can start our lessons back up again? We crave absolutes. They comfort us. But life is infinitely more complex than that. If you publish a story saying I fired that gun, my life will be ruined. I'll be banished from the Adventure Scouts and charged oh, no. with a misdemeanor. So what if I have a better story? If I tell you what I know, promise me the gunshot stays between us. You have our word, as journalists. I saw something at Sweetwater River. Something nobody else saw. Miss Grundy's car, by the river's edge. She was there. Despite all of our recent troubles, I would have done anything to protect Archie. But Shit. Dilton Doily had just opened Pandora's box, and now there was nothing I, or anyone, could do to save him. Oh, shit! Dilton? His name's Dilton? Dilton? Is that his name? That episode was pretty good. That was probably the weakest out of the three... This is the third one? That's probably the weakest out of the three episodes so far. It was just wasn't, like, as twisty and turny as some of the other... The first two episodes, which is fine. I'm excited to see what happens next. Grundy's gotta go down, bro. Because that's nasty. You can't be acting like that. That's a teenager. You're a grown woman. Stop it. Stop it, teachers. Why do they do this on shows? The teachers need to stop with the students. Stop it. Damn it. <laughs> but if they did, then I wouldn't be able to talk about it and tell them to stop it. So I I mean, I guess continue to do it on the shows, but don't do it in real life because that's gross. Let me know what y'all thought about it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.